This is the September 15th Parks and Recreation Advisory Meeting. Um, call the meeting to order, and we do have a quorum tonight. Um, we will jump right back into old business. Um, we had two runs in the last month, our 5K. We had the Howl at the Moon and the Play for Tay 5K run. Um, AC, if you just give us an update how they went. Uh, maybe well, the run went, the, both runs went really well. Um, what did we have, like 160 for, the, uh, for our Howl at the Moon? And uh, I think the, they had 100 runners for the uh, 5K for Tay. So, and they both went off really well. And we even got some ideas from the from the 5K for Tay run of what we can do a little differently next year. But yeah, they both went really well. That was a really busy time for us. And then the next morning after the 5K for Tay was opening day of uh, fall ball for baseball, softball, and football. <laughs> so it was very busy. And then of course, old timers was the next week. So. But uh, both runs went really well. All right. Uh, anybody want to recap anything with the 5K runs? Yeah, I think it went really, really well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everybody was um, very polite, very excited. We were, yeah. We're a little down from what we had previous years, all right? What's that? We're previously down from what we had previous years. Actually, I think we had a few more than what we had last year. For our uh, Howl at the Moon run, we did. Yeah, of course, this was the first what, the first time we had the 5K for Tay run, so we don't have anything to gauge that on yet, but we will next year. Fun little run, and uh, as far as the Howl at the Moon, and very energetic crowd. Yeah, it was really good. Did Jason run? Yes, he sure, he sure did. He had his time. No. <laughs> Just, no. Just the one. I did beat yours. So. <laughs> uh, it don't take much to do that. But. <laughs> All right, we'll jump into this last weekend, Old Timers Festival, and I guess we'll include the pageant in that as well. Um, don't know if, Kathy, you want to start or AC? Or? You know, let, should, Kathy can start and do the pageant stuff and, and go from there. We, um, we do have four new winners, and then we've got four girls who also won the People's Choice. I was actually looking here to get the name of the Little Miss. Um, our Miss Laverne is Jade Lawson. She is, I think, in the 12th grade at Laverne High School. Emily Bow is Junior Miss. Kyra Jackson is Young Miss. And Tianti Foster is Little Miss. Um, really, really successful pageant, I think. I, I thank Tom for doing a great job moderating or emceeing the baby show. Um, it, it went over very well. Our numbers were down a little bit, but I think that's also because we had so many other events that conflicted between the um, Play for Tay softball tournament and our own opening day. We, we heard a lot of people were already booked doing other things. But overall, the girls were stunning. Good deal. And uh, I appreciate you. You invite me to do that. It's a lot of fun doing the babies. Um, I don't know if I could do anything higher than say two years, but, but uh, I enjoy it as well, so. Anything on the pageants? No, it's beautiful no. then. Good job. And thank you to Laverne High School for the use of their facilities again. Um, I jump into this last weekend with old timers. And I don't know who would like to take it, but. Uh, well, it was, uh, I think it was a really good event. Um, seemed like we had at least as many or more people than we had the last year. The weather could have been better. Um, if it had been like it was Sunday, it would have been really good, but it is what it is. Uh, so um, there was a lot of uh, a lot of compliments all the way around from, for, for just about everything. I mean, uh, we could have had more people at the entertainment stage, but um, we're looking at maybe tweaking that for next year, but I think cutting it back to a Friday evening and a Saturday was really good because you know, by Sunday, everybody's just about getting burned out. So it was good to shorten it up, and I think it went really well. I mean, uh, Kathy, you want to give him any thoughts on that? Absolutely, I do. Um, I, I especially want to thank all the city workers who pitched in. I've, this is the fourth year that I've done it, and this is the first year I have felt like it's truly been a team effort from Parks and Rec to Public Works, police, fire, elected officials, Box 100, those volunteers. It, it was, it was the first year. It really felt like it was genuine, genuinely to me a citywide effort, and it showed. Um, I did put in front of you the budget, some numbers, and I, I wanted to go over a couple of little things with you. As you know, every year the city budgets to give to the Old Timers Festival twenty-four thousand, 
and and Alderman Broker, when you took over as chairman of this committee, we talked, and our goal was to not touch that twenty-four thousand. Now we have had to dip into it a couple of times, but it's been when we've been reinvesting into that amount. And I, and I know previous years they spent upwards to fifty thousand dollars on the festival. Um, our goal was to not spend that much and to give the city back money in addition to not touching the $24,000. Um, T-shirts this year were a whole lot less, but last year we did invest in staff event or event staff shirts so we didn't have to buy T-shirts every year again for all the staff working. We, um, we went over last year also on the stage, but this year we didn't have to spend any money on a stage because we bought our own. So in the end, our revenue over expenditures and this is very rough i still have a couple of numbers to tweak but as of right now our revenue over expenditures is twenty four thousand six hundred ninety one dollars and sixty cents so it basically we're bringing the city seven hundred dollars for hosting this event for the entire city not touching that twenty four thousand dollars at all we may revisit that next year, and AC and I'll talk about that at length later on, about maybe trying to get a big name entertainer here. And that, but I think if we do that, we're really gonna bring in a whole lot more people. Sure. How did the uh, we're talking about the stage and the new uh, what you call canopy? How did that everything hold up in the in the wind? And it's the fantastic. I mean, the band shell is great. It'll um, if staked down properly, it'll withstand. Uh, constant 20 mile an hour wind so i mean it was it was awesome i mean there was no issues everybody all the bands loved it they thought it was great and it really does do a good job of projecting the sound outward toward the audience so it, i mean the stages couldn't be better either it, both of them are really good Very good good purchases and, and just to update what kathy was saying if you just kind of recap for someone that's tuning in for the first time every year we would we would rent or, or, or rent a stage and we've actually we, we purchased it so that is no longer, uh, it, it was a pretty big chunk if I remember. Right. And also with the tents, we've now purchased our own, as you said, band shell. So. Right. Yeah, we've purchased that. And even going back uh, to when I first started four years ago, I believe they rented a tractor trailer that was also a canopy that, that folded out into a stage and, and an overhead uh, shelter. But that was pretty pricey too, if I remember correctly. So. Um, after what we've purchased, the stage and the band shell, I mean, we've, it's already saving us a, a ton of money, and especially in the long run, five years down the road, you know, we're going to have saved a whole bunch of money on that. Um, the stage we were renting or renting in the past was $4,000 just to rent the stage, and we turned around and bought an indoor-outdoor stage that's adjustable for a little more than $4,000. So, I mean, we've had it for two years, so we've already saved, you know, a good chunk of money right there, and we'll continue to do so. And I believe at one time you said we can actually add on to that stage if ever needed to. We have our, actually already added onto okay. it once, and we're going to add onto it one more time, awesome. which will give us a 20 by 20 stage, which is enormous. It's plenty big enough for any type of venue. So, you know, you can get dance troops up there and everything else. So, I wanted to touch on one more budget item also, if you don't mind. Sure. Um, one of the items we had were the city tent handouts, and you see we actually went over budget. I had moved that over. We had we had purchased um, for handouts a dual a dual purpose purchase to give these out. This is a puzzle of the spirit of Rutherford County. We were going to take that to our economic development that retail meeting, um, Tom, in October in Atlanta, and give those out. There were not any left, so I had to because we're not taking any. I could not justify keeping that money out of economic development. And I'm having to put that back in Old Timers Festival. We probably will order more for that, but they were gone. They were snatched up. All the handouts we had this year are gone. But this is, if you haven't seen it already, this is a puzzle of a print we had done under public relations called The Spirit of Rutherford County, much like The Spirit of Nashville. We sold the prints at Old Timers. We didn't sell a lot. They're really available here at City Hall but it will be a part of the whole um, Spirit of Rutherford County collection. Good deal. So we'll be getting more of these for our right, our retail conference. Good deal. Uh, anyone else from staff want to add to old timers? On the board. I, I was satisfied with everything. Everything went well as far as I was concerned. 
I think a lot of people were really um, pleased to not have to battle the hill. I think that was a good call. Mm -hmm. I think that helped a lot as well with the, um, the elderly and the handicapped, so um, easier access to everything. The bands were amazing. They were amazing. They were. And I don't dance, but I kind of did a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I've really seen you dancing. Huh? <laughs> Yeah. No, I think it was the Bonnie Ray one. That's right. Yeah, Bonnie that's Ray got her. <laughs> um, I was also um, pleased. I don't know whether that's good or bad. We really didn't shuttle that many people. I, there was just so much going on down there on the main level. Right. Um, you really couldn't get through the crowds. You're right. <laughs> um, Maybe we need to look at backing them off of the, the trail a little bit further so that if anybody does stop in front of the booth, it's not blocking them. The path, mm -hmm. but it was, uh, it was a huge turnout. Yeah, it was very it was a impressed. huge turnout. I was very amazed with as far as uh, how widespread attendance was because just talking to people, Mount Juliet, Nashville, Antioch, Nolansville, Franklin, um, I had one person from Madison I spoke with. I mean, they really came in. Wow, that's good. All right, we'll move into new business, and this year uh, we've spoken on for probably, I'd say, a good four or five months um, about the farmer's uh, market here in Laverne or trying to get something going there. Um, we had talked about hopefully presenting it to the Board of Mayor and Aldermen in October. Uh, so tonight I want to uh, have a motion to present that to them. And again, I want, Jason, if you don't mind, you've kind of spearheaded this, if you want to kind of give uh, a little recap into what, what we're trying to do here. Sure. Um, what we've been talking about doing is bringing in uh, or actually organizing our own City of Laverne Farmers Market and bringing in vendors both local um, and throughout the county for organic food, local organic produce. And uh, basically providing our residents a more local option to get good nutrient, good protein, uh, produce that is, and fruits and vegetables. So um, we've talked about doing an evening, weekday um, farmer's market, and as far as locations, we've talked about veterans as well as here right behind City Hall. And again, that's something I believe uh, once it's presented to uh, the Board of Mayor and Alderman, there may be some, some ideas kicked around and we obviously have to uh, get with legal on what we can do and can't do. Um, but again, we're trying to present something that, that other cities in Rutherford County do have in Murfreesboro and Smyrna and, and also into Davis County and Nashville, um, just right here in Laverne where people can, can go get farm fresh produce. Um, so that's what we're trying to do. There are some grants that we're looking for that are available every year. Um, the cycles have passed on that. Uh, Deb cannot be here, Deb Malthrop, um, but she has done some, some real research into what's available out there. Um, and after we vote on this, then, then uh, uh, everyone's pretty much clear. I think we all are clear up here on what we're doing. I make uh, a motion that we bring this in front of the mayor and Alderman meeting in October. Second. Okay. Um, let's do a vote. Yeah. All in favor, aye. 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 I guess it passes. Um, and again, what I'd like to do, and, and uh, Jason, if this is okay with you because you have kind of spearheaded and have the information, and also Deb, um, I will ask the, uh, the mayor if we can bring you up during that and, and you can actually uh, explain to the board and to the citizens what we're trying to do here and, and at least get it on the table and um, if that works. So anything further as far as that goes from staff? Sounds good to me. Yeah. Well, good deal. <clears throat> get into something that looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. October 10th at 7 p.m. is our first Movies in the Park. With, with not our first movies in the park, our first drive-in movie. First drive-in movie, yeah. Uh, this was kind of, I think, AC your idea a couple months back, and, and I yeah. absolutely love it. Um, go ahead and tell us who, what we're going to be watching. And uh, Well, we're actually going to be watching uh, Monsters University. I have not seen that one, but I've heard it's really good. Um, and we'll try to start that around 7 o'clock. Um, we pretty much got it all booked up with the, uh, with the movie people. And uh, we're going to try to hold it up in the front parking lot, and they're going to have it set up so that you tune, tune your radio to, a, I believe it's an AM station that the movie, uh, um, 
audio will play through your radio so you can sit in your car and watch the movie and we'll have a, like a little snack bar set up and you know and uh, it should be really fun for the kids and and we'll we're going to make a banner and we're going to put it down on the corner and run it on the electronic sign so that we can generate a lot of interest in it so are we going to hit the schools as well i know a couple years back we did that and um it had still had a great turnout but it rained that day it would have been probably even bigger but right um, i think that'd be good thing yeah we do. can make flyers for the schools too that'd be great very good so it's a free event yeah it will be free and you'll be in the front parking lot where the car will walk yes <clears throat> And again, that's October 10th at 7 p.m. October 10th at 7 p.m., yes. Front parking lot, Veterans Memorial Park. All right, we'll go on to number three, um, October 25th from 2 to 4, I believe. And I don't want to make a mistake on these dates or times, so please let me know if I do. But October 25th, 2 to 4, is our annual tra Trail of Treats. Correct. And if you just want to kind of go over what that is, and for maybe new people that are watching it the first time. or Well, that's where... Um, citizens and different organizations come out and set up tents we'll have uh, hopefully a lot of uh, interest from city departments will come set up tents and they it's a safe place for kids to come and dress up in their costumes and go around and and uh, collect candy you know from uh, from good sources good trustful reliable sources that you know nobody's tampered with it and and uh and there'll be different people that come and, and set up and do that as well we have a lot of local involvement from the businesses that do that and if there are businesses that want to get in touch, 793-3224. Correct. Four. Yeah. Okay. Um, or is, uh, can they get a hold of you, or is it all through parks? Okay. 793-3224. All right. Anything? And however many bags you think is enough, buy more. I agree. Right. Just buy more. Right. Every year, I think it gets bigger. It does. You know what's funny is about, I don't know, quarter to two, to, like, I don't know, are there people coming this year? And then about two, somebody's like, hits a switch. And, and yeah, they come out of nowhere. You know? And the last couple of years, it's been freezing, mm -hmm. and they're still out there they're anyway. Still out there. Doesn't matter. <laughs> and I think the way we've got it timed, if I'm not mistaken, a lot of people come here, and then Smyrna is at Smyrna night, as well, so yeah. they kind of hit it, hit, hit it up that way. So, good deal. Um, is theirs the same day? Yes, sir. I believe theirs like they a are. night or something. Right. right. All right, and then. A little bit further down the road, um, our fourth annual Laverne Christmas Parade of Lights. And Kathy, what is the uh, theme this year? The theme um, that, that we all voted on is a Tennessee Christmas. And I have been told by David that we can't change that because apparently Parks and Rec has it all worked out. All right. <laughs> They're afloat. I think they wanted to do an Alabama float. Did I hear that? Well, it was South Carolina. South Carolina and Alabama floats. That's right. Those aren't Christmas colors. <laughs> those are kind of like Scrooge colors. So just stay away from that. <laughs> that's a little further down the road, but uh, again, it's, uh, that's always a lot of fun. Um, anything you want to add to that as far as, or are we just a little bit? We've got other events in front of it's us. A little, yeah, we, yes, it's, we've been so busy with the events from the last couple of months that we, we're, we're just now getting to where we can start really planning that. So we'll, we'll discuss that more at the next meeting. All right. So no Grand Marshal yet? No. Yet. So we can all still think about who would be great to yeah. put on your thinking cap. Um, AC, we we'll move down to number five, which is based on any comments. I know you have a new staff member there you would like to introduce. I did. I did want to introduce her. Her name is Bobby Mosley. No relation to the mayor. The name is spelt differently. She has come in. She is our uh, athletic coordinator. We've, we've found the need that it's so busy that it was too much for just one person to handle. So we've split events off and split athletics off. So. And believe me, there's still plenty to do in, in each position. But Bobby's going to come in and, and focus all her attention on anything athletic in our department. Uh, right now, she has stepped in to take over baseball and softball, and uh, already a huge improvement. So she's doing a great job. And uh, this is Bobby. Hi. Hey, welcome. <laughs> welcome. Thank you. So well, she is definitely a welcome addition to the staff up here. So. Good deal. Um, anything, anything else? Well, I, I just wanted to give a uh, kudos to, to my staff and, and the guys. Um, this is a huge event. A lot of people don't realize how much goes into it. I mean, it's fun for everybody to come out for a day, but there's so much preparation that we're, 
old timers for us last for about a eight to 10 days because there's so much stuff on the front side to do. And then when everybody leaves and waves and goes home, we're still cleaning up for another four or five days afterwards. So um, I could not be prouder of my staff here and, and the guys at the park because it was one of the cleanest old timers that I remember in, in recent history too, because there was very little trash because they were constantly picking up and going around and, and making sure things were as they should be. So, uh, I have a great staff, and I really feel blessed to be working with these, this crew. I was going to say that from my comments, but it, it certainly is a big undertaking. And just like all the other events, uh, you and your guys always come through. I think we'd be wrong if we didn't say something about Kathy. Um, last year, when we opened it up, I, I mean, Kathy, this is truly an 8 to 10 month, if not 8 to 12 month yeah. planning for you as far as getting everything in line. So. Uh, Big thank you to you. People don't know how hard that you work, and, and not just you, but various other city employees. But uh, uh, I know probably very soon you'll get together and you'll talk about what was good, what was bad, and, and start planning, it, like you said, tweaking it each year to make it a little bit better. So um, big thank you to you as well. This was definitely my favorite festival in the four years. And again, I, I just can't say enough about how everyone came together this year as a team. Um, it, it sure took a lot of stress off of everyone by, by everyone communicating and working very well together. And I, I appreciate your staff also. Just you all don't even. I don't have words. I don't have words mm -hmm. for how hard they work. But thank you. All right, guys. Um, mm -hmm. any, any, anything else for any of the staff? Anything? No, comments? Got so. time. <laughs> no, I, don't have I don't put you on the spot or anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, guys, uh, our next meeting is October 20th uh, here um, at 6 o'clock. It will be a workshop. Um, and other than that, we'll go down to comments. Deb, we'll start with you tonight. Do you have anything you want to Oh, no, I just want to say um, uh, the spirit um, amongst the crew. I mean, I'm not going to get all the different departments right in Box 100. It really is like a family. And I think it, I think it kind of bleeds through. I'm going to get all emotional. <laughs> I think it bleeds through in everything. Jason, you Big, thank you to everybody with the uh, as far as all the city employees, all the volunteers with old timers. It was absolutely fabulous. And just remind everybody about October 10th with uh, the drive in and Monsters University. Laura, Fraser took all my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, thank you all. I'm I do get a little bit behind the scenes with y'all, with my own volunteers, and everyone in this room was there uh, with everyone else in the city. But I mean, we got, you know, that bird's eye view of what's going on, and your guys never stop moving. I need some of that energy. <laughs> well, I'm not saying you and your crew have just as much. You We're still always... trying to sleep and catch up. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it is um, like a big family. You know, Deborah was there with us at the pageant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, she was there at Old Timers. And, you know, we are all there. And you do, when we are all there, we can bring these ideas of things that make it better or things we need to let go. And, right. You know, it's successful. And, and I'm glad to see this board it is so active in the community. So I thank I think everyone for coming together. Look forward to next year. Yeah. Maybe I'll be caught asleep, I think. will <laughs> be here before you know it. Bye. I think the city of Laverne really appreciates Kathy and AC to, to have them on board. I uh, hope they stay here forever. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah, a long time anyway, and I hope uh, the city respects you guys and keeps you guys moving forward. Like the rest of us, we, we all like you. And, you all do a great job, and even your staff over there. Bobby, don't know you, but I welcome you aboard and hope to see you many years from now. Thank you. Once again, uh, everyone said it, but again, thank you for everything that you all do. Um, thank you to all the city employees. Um, there's a lot more. Yes, ma'am. I know everybody's going to think this is way too early to say this, but January will be here in a blink of an eye. Um, does Parks and Rec put Martin's birthday stuff together? Okay. I want to be sure to put on because really it will be here so fast. Okay, thank you. Okay. But again, thank you. And uh, if there's not anything else, we will adjourn. <laughs>